Hey y'all, I'm out here with uh, Don Casey and Jack White and we're doing some testing and you know, it's been a long time. We've had a lot of cool stuff come along, but it's been a long time since we had some new secret sauce, um, but we just found some. So this is pretty cool. I want to share it with you. You know, we've had the, the M300 that combines all your zooms and everything, but it's, it's more of a merger. Uh, we haven't had anything new, any new sensor technology for a while until tonight. Pretty excited about it. And I want to show you who it is. So, we're just out here flying. First of all, I want to show you how dark it is out here. We're looking out here. All that we really have is starlight and a few distant lights there. We're looking at this center. You can't even see my finger. My hands are way in front of it. There's my feet. It's it's just dark out here with just a little bit of, of uh, city glow from a distance from about 10 miles away. But here's what I want to show. We're looking out at a field right now. And what we have is we have the AEE Mach 4 with the, this is a prototype and I got permission to show this is a prototype thermal that they have and then this is the Autel Evo 2 Enterprise with the thermal sensor on. So right now we're looking at the same picture. You can see we have a a, um, a, a pond out there that's a, a water pond and then this is just open field. There's usually cattle out there. We're kind of hoping for them. We see some power lines and thermal here and we get the same picture over here on the AEE thermal. Uh, very close, right? So there's the pond, everything else. There's the power lines. You can see that you can pretty much see the exact same thing, all right? Now we're going to switch it over to something a little bit different, all right? First of all, over here, let's go go ahead and switch it to optical, all right? And there's a low light mode in optical, but there is what we see with the Evo 2 Enterprise. And you can barely make out the pond and this is a bunch of a uh, bunch of kind of black noise you can see some lights in the distance but there's the pond for your frame of reference right so now we're going to switch it over to optical <laughs> and yes i'm not kidding yes you... <laughs> that's better than night vision goggles i can actually see i hope you can see this too i can see the color of the leaves on the tree the light green tint on the in the water you can see the silver color on the power lines, um, the color of the dirt. You can see the greens and the browns, everything in there. You can actually see color in the middle of the night. And again, I'm going to point you out here to what we're looking at. We're looking at a dark field out in the middle of, out in the middle of nowhere, right? We're looking at the same thing. Unbelievable. Better night vision goggles. So the next thing we're going to do, so we're pretty excited about this. Next thing that we're going to do is obviously there's some real tactical advantages if you can see like a uh, color of cars at, in the middle of the night pitch black or you can see you know uh, a colored shirt of a suspect or something like that or maybe a, a search and rescue you find a uh, color of the search and rescue's clothes or something like that so we're going to put an article of clothing out in the middle of the, of the grass and the field out there and uh, compare the two in just a minute here but man that's just <laughs> unbelievable we, we, we have we have color night vision capabilities now sweet all right still out here with uh don casey and jack white testing this uh aee prototype thermal imaging system and we we went and we got a yellow t-shirt and um looking at some some cars so here it is in thermal again this this is the uh autel uh, evo enterprise with the thermal on it and this is the AE looking at the same picture with the thermal on it, all right? And you can actually see the shirt in thermal that we went out there, but it's a black blob in both of them. So we have a, a sweatshirt out there, yellow sweatshirt. Um, and these cars have some different colors to them. Of course, if we were trying to identify them, we would just not know. Uh, it's one of the cars in the driveway on the right, left, whatever. But if in the middle of the dark, we could actually identify those colors, that would be a huge advantage. All right, so let's go ahead and, and switch them over. <laughs> Before I even get in, you can already see, all right? Here we go. All right, and it's right in here somewhere. I think that's it's it right little there, dot, the little yeah. dot, right? There, there we go, and we're, we're used to that. And there, <laughs> I'm not kidding, y'all. That is That is what we see on this new sensor. Absolutely incredible. So look at here, not only can you see um, the the yellow sweatshirt out there and you can see the arms on it. We could zoom in on it if we wanted to, but look, you can see the red truck, 
you see the black truck and this has some of the symbology over but you can see the colors of those vehicles as well um look at that you can see the the colors of everything it's absolutely incredible it like turns day into night i'm gonna just just so that you don't think i'm playing around this is what we're looking at and you're yes you're looking at that truck you can see my hand over here that truck is right next to this house right there and you can't see anything this is a uh iphone 12 with that low light blah 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 stuff but anyway go back to these so there you saw that that light trucks right in here somewhere that's there this color night vision is incredible anyway i, I had to share hope you all as excited as i am